<laughs> is Vector mad because he's not number one? Or is he? What's up fam? James Harrison from Daddy Homework here and today we're going to show you the five best robots that any kid or dad would love. Coming in at number five is Q from Wonder Workshop with three and a half stars and 73 reviews. Check out these snippets from Conflix. Wow, this thing is pretty interesting looking. Uh, so it's made out of almost like three, four balls. Um, he has an eye over here. You do have some buttons on the top here. I really like the color of it and I love the color combination. Q, and by that I mean me, loves to fist bump. Please, place your fist in front of my body. Now. Hold very still. Nicely <laughs> done. That does include directional sound location systems. Right. Let's check those systems. Please move over and back a bit. Then call me to you. Yeah, so there's a lot of different things you can do with the in terms of like chatting wise, but let's go ahead and click on control. Now control is interesting because it just allows you to control the robot as any other robot goes, of course. So we get control of uh, motion, so you can move them forward, we can move them left, you can move them right. Um, we can even do different things, such as there's a microphone as well. Shh. Hey, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! Hey, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. So, you know, it's actually quite clear and crisp quality sound. Now, on the bottom right of this, it does show a sensor here. You can actually see when I'm putting my hand closer to the robot. Uh, it does show that you know it's getting closer and there's a back sensor as well. So that's quite interesting that it has those capabilities and it has a live feed of it. Now you can do seek mode, which allows it to kind of go on its own. There's a void mode, which will avoid Put objects. Protected perimeter. So it's on a void mode. Well, someone's flying true. <laughs> I'm not so sure so about he, that. So literally as soon as something comes in his way, he'll back up. So, quite interesting. Uh, so, let's go ahead and just move him forward there and turn off a void. Uh, explore mode allows him to go on its own. Coming in at number four is Skyrocket Mevo 2.0 by Sky Viper. This bot is an awesome bot because it is pretty much a rolling camera that you can control. And we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. One of the nice things about the Mevo 2 is that it's got variable motion control. So if you want to move forward just a little bit, you just move it forward a little. If you want to move forward a lot, you move it forward a lot. Where some of the other robots or toy RC vehicles don't have that. And I'll get more of that later into the sharper image version of this robot. So let's go ahead and pick this up. So it can pick it up, drive around, makes it a lot of fun. Some of the other things about this that makes it great in my opinion, especially over a lot of the others, and it's not some garbage camera that you can't tell what you're looking at. It's actually, it looks really fun. It almost feels like a video game you're playing and the real life is the map that you drive around because you can also interact with the world through the claw. And we'll get into more of that in a second here. So some of the other things you can do is you can take pictures and record from the app, which it's okay, it's not nothing special. It, you, it's just as easy to use a screen recorder. You'd have all the buttons in the way, but I can't imagine really using the video for this much other than, you know, pranking a family member or, you know, whatever ideas you can come up with. Coming in at number three is the BB-90 Droid by Spiro. This robot has the most reviews on Amazon with four stars. It comes with an app that you can use to control it like a remote control cars and it does a few other things. It just kind of sits in there, so let's go ahead and lift this up. And uh, it just works by magnet, so it does rotate and it'll actually keep the head on top of it the whole time. Uh, it's the size of a baseball, I would say, and it actually has a lot of small details. You see some small antennas on the top here. It does have some LEDs as well. And I really like the color as well as the finish of it. So let's go ahead and put our new friend down over here. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. We got our BB driving, and as you can tell, he's already kind of moving the way you want to. But we do get full control over it. Now, the app itself, you have a control steering on the left-hand side here. So literally you just put your finger down and then if I kind of push it towards the front, he'll start moving forward as well. Now, he is quite responsive, so he does move quite fast. So just be very cautious when you do use him. 
So it's really easy in terms of controls go, and then you do have different motions as well. So these are different animations in here. So you can make it more animated, uh, which is actually a very nice feature. Now on the bottom here is, I'm gonna go ahead and put the robot in there. There you go. And then I'll hit okay. All right, it says hold your phone level, then tap the screen to confirm. Oh wow, look at this. I've been, looks like I'm inside the actual spaceship itself. So let's go ahead and move forward. Oh wow, the robot's actually responding to it. That's cool. All right. Okay. If you like the BB9E droid and you feel like stepping up your robot to the next level and paying three times as much, consider the next best thing, which is the Vector by Anki coming in at number two. This robot too has four stars with 93 reviews. There's a laser sensor on the front, a little capacitive sensor here so it can feel if you're petting it. It has four microphones so it can hear you say its name and respond to you and answer questions like, what's the weather like? Importantly, its actions are designed to react to the environment, which makes it feel a little bit more alive. We really placed close attention to have behaviors be based on either sensors or what the user is, is doing. So that was a big piece for us, not just having a robot who was entertaining briefly, mm -hmm. but something that felt very alive over the course of the day. And then there's things that we didn't design that just happen. So if you turn on the TV, he will watch that TV because he's listening to the sound. Yeah. And then the screen triggers his motion detector, so he gets really interested by different things. Personality may go a long way, but is that really enough reason to buy a quote-unquote home robot? It basically has the guts of a smartphone inside it, including a faster processor and Wi-Fi, which means that it can always stay connected to the internet and doesn't really need you to take care of it. It can hang out on its own, find its own charger, and not fall off the table. It does a lot of that with surprisingly advanced computer vision for such a tiny package. So what you're seeing here is uh, a visualization of the robot, and as I turn him, he can feel it by virtue of that gyro I talked about, yeah. so he knows he's turning in space. And you can also see he's building, slowly building a map, so I'm gonna manually drive him around. And you can see if I move closer, it will also move, move closer. Vector is arguably one of the best bots on the market for home automation and for robots that are already built. But unlike all the other bots on this list, this next robot is a robot you have to build. The Cuperts by Roboblock is the number one robot on this list with four and a half stars. It comes with sensors and a LED screen. This is an ultrasonic sensor uh, from here. Uh, this is the robot we made. See this? Yeah. Whoa. So we, we have uh, different sensors, ultrasonic sensor, line following sensor, light sensor, sound sensor, all the different sensors. And the APP is also ready. Uh, it is kind of hardware, uh, open source hardware. So with the hardware, with the uh, sensors, uh, with the APB, you can build robot as simple as we play with Lego. But this but box includes these sensors? All these sensors inside. And this Yeah, all, and this uh, LED matrix, everything inside. But you can, uh, you can do these, can you do more than this? You can of do course, whatever you of want? Of course, of uh, course. After you, you, uh, you learn from our robot, you can uh, just build your idea with our parts. Our target is uh, to make people, regular people, have ability to build a robot, to create. And uh, this one is also uh, built with the same kit? Right, right, right. This is also uh, the, the same parts that you build, this one. 